filters and parameters are two helpful tools that allow you to customize what data you are looking at in a report. The best part is, you can use parameters and filters as a report viewer without touching or modifying the code. If added to a mode report, you'll find parameters at the top and filters will show up on the right side panel. It's common for both parameters and filters to be added to mode reports, so you may be wondering, when and how should you use them? We'll answer that question in this video. Filters allow you to look at a subset of data almost instantaneously. You can set one or more filters from the right side menu and then select Apply. You'll see the charts and visualizations in the report update to display the new subset of data you chose. From there, you can either change the filters you applied or reset the report to the default using the Reset option. Filters also work when using explorations. If you have filters applied when you start an exploration, the filtered subset of data is what you will see when you open the chart builder. You can then choose to update or remove the filter from your exploration using the filters drop zone. Parameters also help slice the report data into smaller subsets, but do so a bit differently. Parameters dynamically change the underlying SQL code to return the smaller subset of data. This can be helpful for a couple of common workflows. The first workflow is for when you are trying to drill down multiple columns of data. Here's an example of this workflow applied to sales reports. The sales rep is set as a parameter, then accounts as a filter. This makes it easy for sales reps to view their overall book of business then drill down to see their specific accounts. Another workflow that's common for parameters is to provide an easy way to slice your data into a smaller subset for exporting purposes. For example, if you wanted to look at only a specific date range, customer, product, region, anything like that in a spreadsheet, then parameters would make that easy. Since parameters change the underlying SQL query, your exported results would only contain the data that you chose to focus on. That's it for this video. Now you're ready to slice and dice your data to get further insights using filters and parameters.